Hi everybody, it's John Elziga and welcome back to It's a Great Day to Serve the Lord. And today I want to talk about one of the most popular scriptures in all the Bible. One of the most popular verses in the Bible that is referenced most. In fact, it is so popular that this particular scripture we're going to talk about it gets, when I did my research, I realized it gets something like 82,000 searches per month for this particular scripture. So often quoted and so often used in people's lives. But before I get to the scripture, I want to set the stage. I want to set the context for this scripture. And the title of this devotional is simply this. God will get you through it. He will. Whatever you're going through, whatever your issues, God will get you through it. And, and Paul talks about this roller coaster ride that we're on in life in Philippians 4, 11 to 13. And it says this, I'm not saying this because I'm in need. He's talking about financial need now. For I have learned uh, to be content in whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or want. When it comes to need and provisions, Paul's saying he's experienced the extremes of life. He's experienced plenty and he's experienced lack. He, he shares this because he's about to let us in on the secret to contentment. But folks, I, I think you'll agree, a, a, a lot of people can relate to this, this roller coaster life that we are on. Uh, a lot of people experience the ups and downs of life, the, the different seasons in life. It's good one day and not so much the other. Uh, things may be going well and, and you've got a good job and, and you're good in your relationships and you're financially well off. Well, if you're, if you're not well off, at least you're not in the stress zone. You have a good year, and then somehow, some way, for whatever reason, it and transitions into a bad year, a year of struggling, a year of stress. Maybe it's a, a time of loss and emptiness. Maybe it's a loss of a job. Maybe it's a loss of income, a loss of relationships. Maybe it's hurt and pain and agony uh, going where you're going through something that's unspeakable. Friends, you know there's a lot of brokenness out there, and that includes all of us who claim Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Matthew 5, 45, Jesus is talking. He says that you may be children of the Father in heaven. He, God, causes the sun to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. I don't care how righteous you are, you're still going to get some rain in your life. He's saying, yeah, the evil person experiences, and so does the righteous person experience it. In other words, knowing Jesus Christ, being in Christ, doesn't absolve us of the issues of life. Many of you know my experience. I, I don't want to prolong the story again. But we've lost everything in our life twice. I mean, I, I can identify totally here with what Paul's saying. I know what it's like to have plenty, and I have had plenty of want. <laughs> we've lost everything twice. The most recent was 2011 in the aftermath of the 2008-2009 recession. Uh, we had had a, an income property that was providing a good income for a ministry I was trying to build. We were living in a nice home, in a nice community, on a golf course, going to a wonderful church. And then all of a sudden, it's gone. It's gone. And not by something I could have controlled, really. I know what it's like to have plenty, and I know what it's like to have one. Yet somehow... In the midst of all the trouble, in the midst of my own anxiety, I knew God would come through, that God would get me through it. I didn't know how, I didn't know when, I didn't know in what context, but I knew God would get me through it. Paul says, I, I, I've learned to be content in whatever the circumstances. 
And that word that in the Greek word there in contentment is a rich word. And it takes into account the ups and downs of life, the trials and the troubles, the abundance and the want. That in and through all of that, there can still be contentment. How is that even possible? It's not natural. It's not normal. In fact, it is super natural, that kind of contentment. And here's how. And here is the, the second most searched scripture in all of the Bible, one of the top quoted scriptures in all of the Bible. Paul says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Or some versions say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Because that word, who strengthens me, uh, it means that it, 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 the actual word is infuses strength into me. It is not my strength. I'm weak. It is not my ability to get through it. It's the strength that comes from an outside source, and that source is Jesus Christ, and he infuses his strength into me. Dear friends, I, I don't know what you're going through today, but know this. I want you to know this. I want you to be assured of this. When you feel lost and alone, the infusing strength of Jesus Christ will get you through it. When you're experiencing loss of job or possessions or, or relationships, the infusion of the strength of Jesus Christ will get you through it. When you're going through one of those tough seasons of life, the infusion of the strength of Jesus Christ will get you through it. My friends, uh, the secret of contentment is not that your troubles will go away, not that these challenges and seasons of life will be absent from your life, but the secret, the real secret, is that Jesus Christ will get you through it. And in resting in that knowledge, he can provide a supernatural kind of contentment. Well, that's your devotion for today, for this week, actually. And, and uh, if you have supported this channel, thank you so much. If you'd like to support it, there's a link below that will allow you to do that. God bless you, and remember, it's a great day to serve the Lord.